All the world's a stage. And all the men and women merely players. Oh, they have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. And I'm going to be talking about leadership and the power of language. I suppose what Shakespeare teaches me more than anything is, is curiosity, unbounded curiosity, and, uh, and openness to anything, everything. It's also uh, his most original play in that he created this whole story and all the characters, which was unusual. Most Elizabethan writers didn't do that. Nobody understood human nature better than Shakespeare. He knew more about psychology than Freud. He knew more about history than Tolstoy. He knew more about politics than Machiavelli. And he was fascinated by the challenges of leadership. So his plays do provide us with some fantastic scenarios. If circumstances permit, you can make a number of significant choices. I think you are able and certainly responsible for writing your own script. When I talk about leadership uh, and lessons in leadership, I'm not talking about the lessons I can teach you, I'm talking about the lessons I've learned over 50 odd years. You can decide on how to play a scene, how to handle a situation by observing other people, observing great stories. Yes, I think he's, he's one of the most important interpreters of the work in the world. I think you, you can never f stop finding new levels in Shakespeare. Why, at the end of the day, was one man left standing? Why was it the young outsider, Octavius, who became the most powerful man in the world? And so we find new meanings or different meanings in the text. And urge them on with this great speech, once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. Or close the wall up with our English dead. In peace there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard-favoured rage. I take that speech and I deconstruct it to show it for what it is. And it works like a treat. John, over many years you've been honoured by Her Majesty the Queen, the Australian nation and your peers in the theatre. Tonight, it's the city of Sydney's turn. John, I would like to present to you the key to the city. If Tim hadn't had found a show not entirely to his satisfaction, he'd still come across the foyer and shake my hand warmly and say, well, John, that was something. <laughs> Thank you and good night.